in today's video, I will show you how to install Kali Linux ARM64 Desktop Edition on Apple Silicon Macs, including M1, M2, M3, M4, and the brand new M5 using VirtualBox. With VirtualBox, you can now run Kali Linux inside a virtual machine on any Apple Silicon Mac. For demonstration purposes, I used a MacBook Air with M4 chip in this video. The procedure is the same for any Apple Silicon. To install Kali Linux on Apple Silicon, make sure you have at least 40 GB of free space on macOS. Then using your web browser, go to the official VirtualBox website and click on download button. Now as of this video, VirtualBox 7.2.4 is the latest version available. If you have an Intel Mac, download the Intel version. For Apple Silicon Macs, download this version. Also, download the VirtualBox extension pack. Then open second link and click on download. By the time of making this video, Kali 2025 is the latest version. Let's select Apple Silicon ARM64 and download the standard installer. Once all files are downloaded, place them on a folder for easier navigation. Now double click the VirtualBox DMG file. Then double click the PKG icon to start the installer. Click continue, select install for all users of this computer. Then click install. Enter your admin password to proceed. Once VirtualBox is installed, double click on the extension pack and install it. Now close the VirtualBox and reopen it. It's time to create a brand new virtual machine for Kali. Now click the new button, name the virtual machine, and select the location where VM files will be stored. Then set the type to Linux and subtype to Debian. For the version, choose Debian ARM 64 bit. Then click Hardware. Now allocate RAM and CPU cores for the Kali virtual machine. I'm going to use 6 GB of RAM out of 16 GB and 4 CPU cores out of 10 for better performance. Then uncheck the EFI option. Next, select hard disk and allocate at least 20 GB of storage. Then click finish. Now as you can see, we have done creating the Kali virtual machine. To optimize performance, select VM. Then click on settings and go to expert mode. Under general, go to features and set shared clipboard to bidirectional. This way you can copy and paste the links between macOS and Kali virtual machine. Then under display, increase the video memory to the maximum. And keep the graphics controller as VMSVGA. Do not enable 3D acceleration, which is not yet supported on Apple Silicon. Then select storage, click MT, and import the Kali ARM64 ISO file. Then I'm going to set the rest of the options as default and click OK to save the settings. Now the VM is ready to start. Click Start. Then click inside the virtual machine window. Now keep in mind, once you click inside the virtual machine, 
The cursor will be captured by the guest OS. Now press left command key on your keyboard to release the cursor back to the host OS. If the virtual machine window looks very small, go to view, select scaled mode and double click the windows title bar to maximize. Now use the arrow keys to scroll through the options, select graphical install and press the enter key to boot into the live setup. Now go ahead, select the system language, location and keyboard layout. Then set host name and click continue. For the domain name, leave it as MT. Then create a user account and password. Now choose to use the entire disk. Then select the virtual disk. Choose all in one partition and finish partitioning the virtual drive. After a few minutes, you will see this window to choose the desktop environment. I tried XFCE and GNOME, both work fine without any issues. I recommend choosing the lightweight XFCE desktop environment. Then click continue to complete the installation. Once complete, click continue to reboot. Now VirtualBox will automatically eject the installation media. And voila, now you will see the login screen. Go ahead, enter your username and password and click on login. The first thing to do after setting up Kali is to update the source list. Open terminal and enter this command to retrieve the latest package information from the sources. It's time to enable full screen resolution and better functionality by installing VirtualBox guest editions. Inside terminal, type this command to install Linux headers. Once it's done, type this command to install some packages. Then reboot the virtual machine. Now from the menu bar, select Devices. Choose Insert Guest Editions. Once it's mounted, open File Manager. And you will see a CD icon on the sidebar. Click on it and copy all the files and paste them into the documents directory. Then open terminal and navigate to the documents directory by running this command. Now type ls and you will see all the files we just copied. We need to install this file to enable all the extra features of the virtual box. To do so, change the permissions to this file by running this command. Before installing guest additions, it's recommended to disable the scaled mode, then type this command to execute the package. And that's it, guest addition support is added to the Kali virtual machine. Now restart the VM to apply these changes.
If the user interface is too small for you, enable display scaling, open settings manager and enable high DPI mode. It's time to talk about the performance. Since VirtualBox on Apple Silicon lacks 3D acceleration, so animations and transitions may appear choppy. It currently relies on software instead of GPU rendering. However, Kali runs very good with no major issues on Apple Silicon Max. I also tested some apps like VS Code and they worked fine. As a bonus part of this video, if in case you dislike Kali and decide to remove it, first shut down the virtual machine, then using the VirtualBox main user interface, right click on the VM and choose delete. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install Kali Linux on Apple Silicon Macs using VirtualBox for free of cost. Let me know what do you think about this in the comments section down below. If you have any queries or questions, do post them. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.